Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about another one of the, the second year for the mini birds, if you will, 1956 Ford Thunderbird convertible. Give you all the details in a minute. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about a 1956 Ford Thunderbird convertible. Oh man, I'll tell you what, talk about a special car in its day. I mean, it's the second year for the Mini Birds, the two seaters, and they made lots and lots of improvements. Now you're going to want to watch this entire video from start to finish, unless you have other plans, whatever, you don't have to. But if you do watch it, you're going to get to hear a cold start. You're going to have a nice walk around, give you more details to the car itself and all that stuff as well. Or you can can click on the link on our website and on the description of the car and it'll take you right to that car give you all the scoop on this one and all of our other cars as well and our website of course you can go there as www.ellingsunmotorcars.com and there you will see close to 100 classic and collectible vehicles ranging from cars in the 1920s all the way up into the 70s and beyond so if you're looking for a special collector car Chances are that Ellingson Motor Cars is going to have one for you, but let's get into the details of this really, really special car. As I mentioned earlier, it's the second year for the Mini Birds, and this is no exception. Lots of little improvements that Ford did no matter what. Now this color is called Buckskin Tan. Now for me, it's almost a peachy color, more whatever, but you know, back in those days, they wanted to differentiate colors and they came up with all these names. You look at the interior, now that looks like more like buckskin kind of colors than the outside. Not to make it a big deal, it's a beautiful color for the 1950s, no matter what. I remember this color. This is what color our tiles were when I was a kid in the bathroom and my folks, the house was built in 1955. So yes, one of those colors on everything, the, the appliances and whatnot were all this color. But yeah, someone who ordered this car in 1956 really knew what they were doing. They really sat down with the sales guy and said, you know, we want one of those cars. We love it. It's going to be a special car, you know, a convertible. It's going to have the 312 V8 in it. Well, we want some options. Well, I mean, we want power steering. Of course, power steering is an excellent uh, addition to any of these old cars. It makes it way more enjoyable. If you go to the car shows or you're parking or whatever, anyone can get in and drive it effortlessly. So, and it also, they said, well, while we're doing that, let's get some power brakes too. So it also has power brakes. So you got the 312 with power steering, power brakes, and then they went even a little step further. And I'll get to those options in a minute. But getting back to the car, 312, this car had more than enough power with the dual exhaust coming out the back. Uh, you know, it really had some performance. A 312 was, that, that was a pretty good sized cubic inch for this little car. Of course, the chrome in this car is exceptionally nice. The correct wide white wall tires and the full Ford hubcaps. I love the red insert with the Ford emblem in it. You know, they always were making sure that you knew what it was. Also, you know, the Ford emblem here and on the back, make sure you know that it's a Thunderbird. You know, that was, you know, the, all these car manufacturers in those times did that kind of stuff just to differentiate themselves from everybody else. Also, I like the little scoop on this car, you know, again, gives the perception of being a sports car, kind of sporty and, and they really were. In 1956, it was just, you know, only the second year for these. The other big improvement that everyone who's a Ford guy knows, 1956, first year they went to 12 volt electrical systems. I think that was one of the best things they ever came up with. Not that you couldn't get by with the six volt that was in 55 and older, but it just makes the cars just start so much better. Just seems to give you a little more confidence in, in that uh, startability of the car. But let's get back to the interior. Like I said, they ordered all these beautiful options to this car. And then they said, well, we're gonna wanna have the automatic on the floor with a shifter in the middle hump. It's got power windows. And they said, let's get a power seat as well. Oh my gosh, then I looked, the radio is a town and country radio. Oh, I mean, they sat down, uh, I guess either they came up with the ideas or the salesman that got them said, these are all the things that's gonna make this car really special. And that's why this is a really, really unique car. Now, the other thing that we have to always talk about on a Thunderbird, of course, is the top. 
this has the hard top as you know as well as the, as the you know for a convertible now this one does not have the porthole in 1956 now, many of the cars came with a with the porthole, which was kind of the standard deal. But a lot of people said, "No, no, I, I liked it. I like the way it is." The convertible top is a white con top, of course, a hard top, but it uh, does not have the porthole. So it's kind of a rare, rare example if you want to take a take a look at that. Um, like I say, look at the interior of this car. Beautiful seat, beautiful carpets all the way around. The instrumentation is as original. I mean, you even have a tachometer, you know, for the show you the engine performance and whatnot. And, uh, you know, the speedometer is kind of neat with the, the sun that comes through here. Oh, look at that. Padded dash as well. Another one of those safety things that they came up with. And it was just really a nice improvement for us people who got scars from hitting metal dashes on cars in the day. The other thing that this car has, of course, another couple options. Like I say, that guy, sales guy really talked up this car, did a wonderful job. Now, Continental kit, of course, on the back. That is just really sets off these cars and really gives them that very elegant look. Skirts as well. Look at that. I tell you, this, like I say, this is one of those cars that is just really, really well optioned, if that be the case that I want to tell you about. Now, you can find all our cars on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. You know, give us a like, leave us a comment, or subscribe. We appreciate that very much. You'll find all information on this car, all our current inventory as well, and you'll see some of the cars that we have sold in the past. So if you're perusing the internet, looking for some stuff, check out those sites and find out some of the interesting cars that we currently have and stuff that we've had in the past. But yeah, second year Thunderbird, oh, I tell you, like I said, I think they made really nice improvements over the previous year. And it was one of the hottest items for Ford was this, you know, the Thunderbird two-seater, you know, Chevrolet had to come out with something. They came out with the Corvette because ugh, the Thunderbird was kind of kicking their butt to, all over the place because there were lots and lots of these in the hands of uh, people that really wanted to have a sporty American car. So if you're looking to add to something to your collection, we have a beautiful example here. Now, if you're like me, well, I want to come down and take a look. I, ha I have to come down. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 until 5 and Saturdays 10 to 4 as well. So you can come on down. We'll let you sit in the car. If that be the case, make sure you fit. You know, that's always one of those things on these old cars. I mean, Suzanne Summers, an American graffiti, I mean, she probably weighed 90 pounds. I mean, I, I have a little bit more difficulty, but it's still not too bad. I can get in and out and it does have the power seat. Remember that option. So if you're looking to add a two-seater Thunderbird into your collection, always wanted one, boy, do we have a nice example right here at Ellingson's. You know, come on down, take a look. We'd love to have you come in and see it in person. Uh, we, you know, it's just one of those things. Some people got to see them, got to touch them, feel them, make sure you fit in the car. And that's probably one of the biggest things on one of these cars. So come on down at Ellingson's and we thank you again for watching our videos and looking at all our inventory. We appreciate it very much and we will see you next time.